Hello students, we are all aware that uh, we are dealing the chapter ray optics. Under this chapter, I taught you regarding compound microscope in my previous classes and we derived the relation m is equal to m0 multiplied by me where m0 is the magnification produced by objective lens and m is the magnification produced by eyepiece. This is what we derived in our last classes. Now we will try to elaborate this uh, derivation furthermore. Here, if the image is formed nearer the second lens that is at eyepiece, then V0 can be taken as approximately equal to L. And if uh, object is placed nearer to the focus point of first lens that is objective, then U0 can be approximately taken as F0 where F0 is the focal length of objective lens. Now the magnification becomes M is equal to minus L divided by F0 1 plus D by Fe. So this is what the final magnification we are getting in this uh, situation. Now here we can say that magnification increases with the increase of uh, length that is separation between the two lenses and by decreasing the focal lengths of both objective as well as eyepiece. That is why for increasing magnification the focal lengths of objective as well as eyepiece are kept low. Now we will see the remaining things that is when the object is placed at the in between center and focus point and image forms at the focus of the first lens that is when the final image forms at infinity. Now we will see the magnification produced by a compound microscope when image is formed at infinity. Here a ray diagram is shown here. Object is placed between focus as well as center. H1 is the object which is placed between focus as well as center. This object I mean the image of this object is formed beyond the lens that is at distance of V0 from the objective lens and this object which is formed by the objective lens if act as an image for the second lens then it will form an image. Now let us see from the beginning an object is placed between focus as well as center of objective lens. This object forms an image by the objective at a distance of V0 from the objective lens and this image formed by the first lens will act as an object for the second lens. If this image falls on the focus point of the second lens then final image will form at infinity. Now we will try to find out the magnification produced by this particular uh, system. Here we know that magnification is given by angle subtended at the eye due to the presence of optical instrument to the angle subtended at the eye in the absence of optical instrument. So here first we will try to find out tan beta from the figure tan beta is equal to h2 by fe. Now we know that from this figure tan alpha is given by tan alpha is equal to h1 by d that is a person can able to see the image when it forms at distance of distinct vision. So tan alpha is equal to h1 by d. Now the magnification m is given by m is equal to tan beta by tan alpha which is equal to h2 by fe by h1 by d. Now this can be further written as h2 by Fe multiplied by D divided by H1 or you can write this as H2 by H1 multiplied by D by Fe. Now from the figure H2 by H1 is nothing but it is the magnification produced by the objective which can be written as magnification is equal to H2 by H1 we can write as V0 divided by U0 and here you have D divided by F E. So this is the magnification produced by the compound microscope when image forms at infinity. Now we can see uh, that the magnification produced by the compound microscope when image forms at infinity is just less than the magnification produced 
by the compound microscope and image is formed at distance of distinct vision. The thing is that here we can able to see the image without any stress on the eye. So, here we will try to elaborate it furthermore. If object is placed, object is placed nearer to F0, then U0 will be approximately equal to F0 and V0 that is image formation if we consider it is forming an image nearer to the eyepiece then V0 can be taken as L. So, changing this factor in the expression gives M is equal to L divided by F0 multiplied by D divided by Fe. So, this is what the magnification obtained in the case of uh, compound microscope when image forms at infinity. From this expression we can see that if the focal lengths of uh, lenses are more then magnification get reduces. So, in order to increase the magnification the focal lengths of both the lenses are taken small as possible and at the same time the focal length of eyepiece is taken as little bit more than the focal length of objective for better visibility. A good microscope should have the following factors first one is its magnification, second the resolving power, third visibility. Now, we already saw the magnification that is magnification produced by compound microscope m is given by for the image forms at infinity is given by L by F O multiplied by D by F E. So, from this uh, equation the magnification shows that it can be increased by decreasing the focal lengths of both the lenses. Second one we have the resolving power, resolving power is the ability I mean when, when a small object is seen the diffraction effect is comes into picture because of that a wave pattern is there and because of that wave pattern we cannot able to see the image clearly. So, the resolving power factor is taken into consideration more the resolving power more will be the clarity that means the resolving power of any optical instrument may be defined as that uh, to what extent two nearest object can be shown by the given optical devices is said to be as resolving power. So, the resolving power is the ability to show two nearest object as separate as possible. So, by showing separation between two nearest objects we can able to distinguish the object and resolution will be more and that type of microscope will be better. So, we will try to see the resolving power that means the formula for re resolving power of a compound microscope. Here the formula for resolving power is given by resolving power rp is equal to 2 mu sin beta divided by 1.22 lambda where mu is refractive index beta is the angle formed by beta is the angle formed by the ray of light that arises from the object which makes conical structure and angle beta is the angle that is formed between principal axis and conical light which arises from the object. So, and then lambda is the wavelength of light used. So, by increasing the resolving power we can uh, get the clear picture of the uh, microorganisms which are to be seen. So, here resolving power can be increased by increasing the refractive index and by increasing the wavelength. So, first we will see how can we increase the resolving power. First one by reducing lambda. So, by reducing lambda means by taking the light which is having very low wavelength such as ultraviolet light. By using ultraviolet light we can reduce the wavelength thereby resolving power of a microscope can be increased. Such type of uh, microscope which uses ultraviolet light as a source for seeing the object is said to be as ultra microscopes. Second one 
by increasing the refractive index that means if we take a liquid which is have more refractive index and by placing the object in that liquid the resolving power of a microscope can be increased such type of microscopes are called oil immersion microscopes in oil immersion microscope a oil is there whose which have higher refractive index in that oil object is placed which is to be viewed so third one uh, which is said to be as electron microscope electron microscope uh, is used to view the objects by taking the electron beam having low wavelengths so uh, according to de broglie theory electron beam i mean the beam produced by the electron can be considered as a wave nature whose wavelength falls in the electron region so by taking the electron beam or electron wave microscope is constructed and such type of microscopes are called electron microscopes whose resolving power get increases thereby clarity will be there so by increasing refractive index we can increase the resolving power and by decreasing wavelength we can also increase the resolving power here by in decreasing uh, wavelength there are two ways by which uh, wavelength can be decreased one is ultraviolet ultraviolet light using ultraviolet light the microscope which is constructed is said to be as ultra microscope second one is by using oil oil of higher refractive index and the object is placed within the oil such type of microscopes is are, are called oil immersion microscope third one is electron microscope which uses the electron beam and electron beam i mean the wavelength of electron beam is lower thereby resolving power can be increased so all these uh, techniques are used to increase the resolving power so that a person or an observer can see the objects very clearly i mean the microscope uh, by using microscope the microorganisms can be seen very clearly with the increase of resolving power and the magnifying power is increased by taking several set of uh, uh, lenses that are placed in an objective and it also reduces the chromatic aberration so chromatic aberration is nothing but it is the deviation from the actual formation of image by the point object due to the presence of several colors uh, that several colors will form several images because of that the clarity in the image cannot be realized so by taking several set of uh, lenses that chromatic aberration can be removed in this case third one is visibility so visibility means if more the light more brightness is required to see the microorganisms that can be realized or that can be achieved by the use of concave mirrors which reflects the light towards the object thereby a proper light will be there and intensity of light causes or intensity of light can be used to view the objects that is the microorganisms very clearly here we have several important points related to compound microscope first one the magnification produced in compound microscope is given by m is equal to minus l divided by f0 1 plus d by f0 when image forms a distance of distinct vision so in the second case when the image forms at infinity the magnification is given by minus l divided by f0 d divided by f e so in both the case we are seeing that magnification produced when the image is formed a distance of a distinct vision is little more than the magnification produced by compound microscope when image forms at infinity again we are seeing a negative sign the negative sign indicates that the final image which is formed is just reverse of the object that is it is inverted with respect to object final image obtained is inverted image with respect to object now the resolving power of compound microscope is given by 2 mu sin beta divided by 1.22 lambda as i told you resolving power is the ability of optical devices to show two nearest objects as separate as possible here the resolving power can be increased by using ultra microscope then oil immersion microscope and then uh, the electron microscope in the case of oil immersion microscope object is taken in a liquid of high refractive index and in the case of ultra microscope and the electron microscope the wavelength is reduced 
by reducing wavelength and bringing it to the ultraviolet range the microscope is created is said to be as ultraviolet microscope and the second one by bringing the wavelength into the range of electron region the microscope is said to be as electron microscope in the case of electron microscope electron beam is used to focus that electron beam electron uh, electron beam magnetic lenses are used instead of optical lenses next one several lenses are combined in the case of uh, objective lens i mean instead of taking single lens as an objective several lenses are packed together to remove the chromatic aberration next one visibility can be increased by using concave mirror which reflects the light and it focuses the light into the object from where light passing through the microscope which can be seen with high intensity next uh, we have some uses of uh, microscope uses of microscope are it is used to see the microscopic objects such as cells blood cells etc uh, and it is also used to see some of the crystal structures such as uh, by using traveling microscope uh, that uh, crystal structure can be seen so basically a compound microscope is used to see the cell and other structures very which are very minute on which are in the range of micro levels now we will see the telescope a telescope is a device which is used to see the celestial objects or heavenly objects there are two types of telescopes one is called refracting telescope another one is reflecting telescope a refracting telescope uses lenses here we have two lenses one is objective another one is eyepiece objective will have large focal length and low power and eyepiece have low focal length and large power now we will see the magnification produced by this uh, refracting telescope when image forms at distance of distinct vision a parallel beam of light comes from infinity it will fall on first lens which is acting as an objective so the refracted beam meets as a focus point because this rays are coming from infinity so at focus point that is at a focal plane an image is formed which is named here as ab of height h1 from the principal axis this image formed by the objective acts as a object for the eyepiece and if it falls between focus and pole of a eyepiece then final image will be formed at distance of distinct vision which is virtual in this way an enlarged image of the celestial object can be seen now let us uh, try to find out the magnification produced by this compound microscope when image forms a distance of distinct vision here from the figure from the figure we have tan alpha is equal to in triangle oab tan alpha equal to h1 divided by fo so tan alpha can be written as h1 by fo from the figure now similarly tan beta can be written as tan beta from the triangle aeb is given by tan beta is equal to h1 divided by f e so it is not f e it is u e so tan beta is equal to h1 divided by u e now from lens equation we have or uh, let us take a magnification magnification is equal to tan beta divided by tan alpha so tan beta is given by h1 by u e multiplied by divided by tan alpha is h1 by f not now after rearranging this we get h1 divided by u e multiplied by f not divided by h1 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 get cancel out finally magnification is comes out to be f not divided by u e now further we will try to replace the value of 1 by u e we know that 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f now from this one we have 1 by u is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by f replace the value of 1 by u from that expression 
gives m is equal to f not multiplied by 1 by v minus 1 by f e. Now from the figure the final image is forming at d this is uh, v e that is the final image formed by the eyepiece which is uh, located at distance of distinct vision. So, v e can be taken as d. Now magnification is comes out to be magnification m is equal to f naught that is magnification of objective multiplied by under the bracket 1 by d minus 1 by f e. Now using sign convention we find that d is negative because the image is forming before the lens that is why d is equal to d is negative putting that gives magnification is equal to f naught minus 1 by d minus 1 by f e. So, minus can be taken as a common factor common uh, you get m is equal to minus m naught 1 by d plus 1 by f e. Take f e also common uh, which gives m is equal to minus f e divided by f naught divided by f e bracket f e divided by d plus 1. So, this is the magnification produced by a telescope when image forms at distance of distinct vision. Now, we will see the magnification produced by a telescope when image forms at infinity that is the final image is forming at infinity. Here the parallel beams which comes from the infinity falls on first objective lens which forms an inverted image at the focus point and this image formed by the objective is acting as an object for the eyepiece. Eyepiece will form the final image. This uh, I mean the image formed by the eyepiece may be at infinity or may be at distance of distinct vision depending upon the location of the image formed by the objective. If the image formed by the objective falls at the focus point of eyepiece then final image will form at infinity. So, that is what happening here. So, the image which is formed by the objective falls on the focus point of eyepiece. So, now the eyepiece will realize that the object is present as the focus point and final image will form at infinity. Here also we will try to find out the magnification. So, magnification produced by first lens is given by or the magnification uh, is uh, nothing but it is the ratio of uh, tan beta divided by tan alpha. Tan beta is the angle subtended at the eye due to optical device and tan alpha is the angle subtended by the object at the eye without using optical device. So, here from the figure we get tan beta is equal to h1 divided by f e that is uh, from the triangle a b e from triangle a b e tan beta is equal to opposite side by base which is equal to h1 divided by f e. Similarly, from the triangle b o a tan alpha is equal to tan alpha is equal to h1 divided by f o. Now, taking the ratio of this two magnification will be equal to tan beta by tan alpha which is equal to h1 by f e divided by h1 by f o. Now, re uh, rearranging this gives h1 by f e multiplied by f naught divided by h1 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 get cancelled out a finally magnification comes out to be f e divided by f naught divided by f e. So, this is the magnification produced when the final image forms at infinity. Now, on comparing magnification forms at infinity and magnification forms at distance of distinct vision we find that magnification uh, due to the image which is formed at distance of distinct vision is more than magnification due to the image formation at, uh, at infinity. But here we can see the image without any much stress on the high eye. So, from the formula of magnification we find that magnification is the ratio of uh, focal lengths of both objective as well as eyepiece. So, we can say that by increasing the focal length of uh, objective that is by reducing the power of objective and by increasing the focal length of objective magnification can be increased and by 
reducing the focal length of eyepiece or by increasing the power of eyepiece the magnification can be increased increased apart from magnification several other factor also uh, is uh, necessary to study here regarding telescope that is the resolving power visibility and several other factors are required to be studied now we will see the some of some of important point related to refracting telescope here magnification obtained when the final image forms a distance of distinct vision is given by m is equal to minus f naught divided by f e 1 plus f e divided by d minus sign indicates that the final image is virtual that is it is inverted with respect to the object magnification when image forms at infinity is given by m is equal to minus f naught divided by f e so by increasing magnification uh, the quality of a telescope can be increased it means what that the telescope uh, uh, a better telescope should have high magnification power high resolving power a good visibility the resolving power depends upon the aperture of the objective so that is the aperture of the objective d and the wavelength of light used we don't have any control over the wavelength because this light is coming from the infinity that is the heavenly bodies or from celestial bodies therefore we have a control over only on d so by increasing the aperture that is the lens size of an objective resolving power can be increased now the third one is visibility more the light gathering capacity more will be the clarity in the telescope that's why in order to increase the visibility the size of the lens have to be increased when we do all these things that is by increasing the aperture size or by increasing the lens size several other defects will also comes into play here we will see some of the uses of uh, refracting telescope it is used to see the heavenly bodies and to see the object which are located on the earth surface by using terrestrial telescopes now it will have some of the disadvantages first disadvantage is for light gathering capacity aperture size to be increased when we increase the aperture size the lens size becomes more and when the lens lens size becomes more its thickness will also increases then it will increases uh, the uh, chromatic aberration which is again one of the difficulty difficult thing in this case second one when we increase the lens size device becomes very heavy and because of large size of the lens it becomes difficulty again third is that it is based on the principle of refraction that's why support to be given on the rim which causes difficulty in handling so handling problem will also be there next one is visibility is low because of the high thickness of the lens the visibility reduces and the clarity will reduces this is because of the reason that when light falls on a lens some of the light get absorbs because of large thickness some may get reflects over the first surface because of these two factors the visibility get reduces next is that next disadvantage is it requires polishing as well as grinding on both the surface that is at first surface as well as on the second surface polishing and grinding is required these are some of the disadvantages related to refracting telescopes after the refracting telescope seeing disadvantages of a refracting telescope uh, uh, it has been seen that so many disadvantages are there in the case of refracting telescope so next to improve this reflecting type of telescopes were devised this reflecting type of telescope uses mirror system so we will see the reflecting type of telescopes and the advantages of reflecting telescopes in our next class till then i hope that all of you will practice and do your level best thank you